special one if we go on and win the game and win this series. But um, yeah, very, very pleasing to, to be able to, to make a, a big contribution on that pitch. Yeah, and at good rate as well. We said we were going to play in a certain manner in, in these conditions. And I think the temptation with a deficit like that going into the second innings is to play within your shell and, and sort of um, be a little bit insular. But the guys went out and, and really set the tone at the top of the order. Um, you know, it was really pleasing to see inexperienced test cricketers really set a benchmark for the rest of the group and, and set a really good platform for us to go on and, and hopefully um, st still stretch this lead further and, and which should be a, a, a good a good chase on, on this surface. Yeah, I, I, personally, I can't speak for the rest of the guys, but we spoke about playing to your strengths individually um, and being really clear about where you're going to score your runs. And from my point of view, it was almost a safer shot than playing a forward defensive. Um, the amount the ball's turning, you're playing with a straight bat, you feel that there's a lot of risk involved in that. Um, so it's almost, a, at times, attack is the best form of defence on, on a wicket like that. And um, I think we, we generally got the balance of that very well. I think it's, it's a strange one, because as a bowler, you feel like you're in the game all of the time. Um, but both sides have managed to make good good scores on that surface so I think um, it can be quite difficult when it's spinning as much as that because you get very excitable um, sometimes you can feel the pressure um, and at, at times maybe we over attack slightly with the fields that we set and and um, weren't patient enough in in just building good amounts of dot balls and restricting boundaries in that first inning so that might be a lesson for us to learn going into tomorrow I'd like to think so but we saw how well they played in that first innings, um, and you know, we if we bowl to our abilities, you'd like to think there'll be ten chances in that wicket. Um, but it'd be interesting to see how how that pitch looks tomorrow morning with the amount of moisture that um, will be created from this from this little storm and um, it, it's sweating overnight. It, it'd be interesting to see if the pitch changes at all, whether it tackies up or um, is it looks very similar. So I think the most important thing for us is we have to adapt well to that and, and read read what's happening very quickly.